Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to copy a SharePoint homepage to a new site without having to know any programming languages or PowerShell. When you're building out a SharePoint intranet, it is very common to need to be able to template pages and reuse them. However, actually if you were to try and copy a homepage um, from one site to another, you'll find that you can't actually copy a page from one site uh, outside of the site. So say for example, if I click on the cog, go into site contents, then I go to site pages across the bottom to where my pages live. If I select this page, which is a file, and then click on copy to, you'll notice that I can only move it within its current site. I can't move it outside of its site. However, it might be that you want to create a level of consistency across your department sites. So typically in an internet, you'll have an internet homepage, but you'll then have department sites, for example, like finance, operations, IT, marketing, which all have communication sites which are offering information to the wider organization. Now, um, to keep a level of consistency for your end users, you'll want to have the same kind of layout for each department site so that they know when they land on here, there might be a bit of information about the department, some quick links, some events, some documents, some news, and it's all essentially um, the same layout, but it's just different content per department, what the, uh, the information that they're offering out to the wider organization. So how do we copy this? So there are ways you can you can apply templates to pages. Uh, sorry, it, apply templates to sites, um, and there are more complex routes of of doing this. But I'm going to show you a very simple, easy way of doing things for a complete beginner, uh, where you can use Power Automate to copy a homepage from one page, one site to another. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and create a new um, department site. So I'm going to create a um, IT department site now. I'm going to, I've gone into the SharePoint Admin Center. Um, you will need a certain level of access to get into this. Um, I have already done a video previously which explains SharePoint access and permissions. So if you've not watched that, go check that out and that'll explain what access you'll need to get access to the SharePoint Admin Center. But once we're in here, we can click on Create and we can then click on Communication Site and I'm going to call this IT because it's going to be my IT department site. Well, looks like I've already got one that's previously created. So I'm just going to call this my IT department site. So once I've then got that, I just need to specify it's myself as the site owner and then click on finish. That will then create me uh, my, my site. Um, and then all I need to do is click on IT department and that's going to open up my site. Now you can see this is just the standard out of the box SharePoint site. There's nothing that's been changed about this. However, I want to apply my finance sort of template homepage over the top of my IT site. So what I then need to do is I'm going to go to office.com because I need to navigate to Power Automate. So I'm going to build a very simplistic, very easy Power Automate workflow, which is going to copy the home page of my finance site, as it currently is, onto my IT site. So from here, I'm going to click on My Flows and I'm going to click on New Flow. Uh, it's going to be also a cloud flow. I don't need to name it or do anything here. I'm just going to click on skip as I just find this is quicker and easier. I'm going to give the workflow a name. So I'm going to say this is going to be copy department site homepage. And the trigger is going to be a flow button because I just want to be able to have a button that I can click to run this. I'm not going to have it automated in any way. But you could use the same logic if you were automating, creating a SharePoint site, maybe with an API call or something like that, and you just want to be able to copy a home page over the top, you might use something very similar to what I'm about to show you now. However, I'm going to keep this really simplistic. I'm going to use it as a manual trigger, and I'm just going to be able to click a button shortly, which will run this action for me. Now, there's only one step I actually need in here, which is called a copy file, and it is part of the SharePoint connector, so you'll show a little SharePoint logo here. I'm going to click on copy file. Now I need to select the current site address to where I'm copying it from. So I'm actually going to be copying this from my finance site. So I'm just going to set finance from here. And then the file to copy is going to be uh, in site pages and it's going to be my home page. Then the destination site of where I'm going to take this to, I'm going to click on the drop down and I'm going to take this to my IT uh, department site. Now if I don't see it on here, 
um, I'm going to click on enter custom value and then I need to go to the site that I've just created. You can't see but I'm just copying the URL out of the, out of the top bar and then I'm going to come back into Power Automate I'm going to paste it into here. So that's the URL. Now it's going to ask me for the destination folder of where this homepage is going to be uh, sent to and of course it will be site pages because that's where the pages will live on my site. Because I'm already going to have a home page in there, which is called home.aspx, um, it's going to say, well, what should it do if there's a page already there? So I'm going to say replace it. Now, you could say copy with a new name, but that would mean you'd have to go in and find your new page and set it to be um, your new home page. So I'm just going to say replace to speed things up. Then I click on save. So this is now saved and ready to go. So I'm going to click on the test button across the top click on manual and then click on test. Now this is going to then say, okay, well, do you give access uh, and consent to SharePoint? So I'm gonna say yes, and then it's ready to run. So click on run flow, and that's gonna start my workflow running, telling me it's, it's now started. So I'm gonna click on done, and it's then gonna show me the workflow running. Now this should only take a couple of seconds. It won't take long at all. And you can see it's already now completed. It's giving me the green tick, which means there's no errors, and it's ready for me to take a look. So if I now go to my IT department site and do a quick refresh of the page, you can then see it's now using the new layout. So it is my IT department site, um, but it's using the same template. So obviously I'd need to go in, update the text and imagery and things like that. Uh, change, for example, is well, uh, welcome to finance and maybe welcome IT. I'd also need to make sure that this site is connected to my hub site. Um, and then click on save and that will then make sure that the navigation bar is inherited, the colors um, are there um, and everything's in place then uh, for me to start building out my IT department site. If you found this video useful, please do subscribe to the channel and like. Um, if you've got any comments or questions, please use the comment feed uh, below to let me know. Um, as I say, this video is a really simplistic way of copying pages. There is other ways. You can use PowerShell. And there's more advanced ways that you can copy sites and all of the contents of the site and things like that. But this is a very specific example um, of how you can copy purely just a page without needing to know any kind of programming or PowerShell. It's nice and easy. Thank you very much for watching uh, and keep your eyes open for more SharePoint top tips.